let's start working on question two of this exam. So we have here the supply and demand for grain in these functions. Uh, quantity is 100 kilos of grains, P is the price. Let's have a look at question one. We have to calculate the price elasticity of demand in equilibrium. So how do we do that? First, we find out what's happening in the equilibrium, and then we're gonna deploy that to the elasticity function. So first of all, to find out the equilibrium, we know that we must make the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied equal. So let's solve it over here. The quantity demanded equals to the quantity supplied. That means that 400 minus 20p, 400 minus 20p is equal to the quantity supplied function, which is 100 plus 10p. Let's take the prices on one side, the numbers on the other side. So we will have 400 minus 100, that's equal to 300. 10p plus 20p, that's equal to 30p. If we divide it, we'll have equilibrium price equal to 10. Now what's gonna be the equilibrium quantity? We can substitute in either of these quantity functions. Let's suppose we substitute it over here. The quantity in equilibrium, the quantity in equilibrium is gonna be equal to 100 plus 10p, 100 plus 10 times 10, so that's equal to 200. That's gonna be the quantity in equilibrium, that's the price in equilibrium. We can apply this to the elasticity function. And let's recall what is the elasticity function. It shows, it shows the percentage change in quantity demanded relative to a percentage change in price, which will be price divided by quantity in equilibrium times the slope of the quantity demanded. So the derivative of the quantity demanded with respect to price. We have the price, we have the quantity that we just found out over here. We also need the derivative of the quantity demanded function, which we can see in this function over here. The derivative is just the slope of the quantity demanded. That is the slope. It is the change in quantity demanded relative to the change in price. And we can see that's gonna be equal to minus 20. So if we apply this to our formula, we will have that elasticity of demand is equal to the equilibrium price of 10. We wanna know at that point, at the equilibrium point, how sensitive are consumers to changes in prices, divided by the equilibrium quantity of 200, multiplied with the slope of minus 20. Now, if we solve this, what will we get? 220, they cancel out, so 20 and 200, we'll have a 10 left. 10 divided by 10 with a negative sign, so we'll have 10 divided by 10, that's equal to one, times minus one from here, the elasticity of demand at the equilibrium point is minus one, which is the property of the unit elastic demand. What does this tell us? It tells us that the equilibrium point that we're now in the market, the consumers are unit elastic. The demand of the consumers is unit elastic. If price still is gonna increase by 1%, the quantity is demanded is gonna decrease by 1%. Hope this makes sense. Now let's leave it like that for this video. In the next video, we're gonna work on the next questions.